Hello, this is Dominique Ramirez from the uh, Digital Media Engagement Team. I work with uh, Gary Hicks. Um, I was trying to explain to you earlier what uh, Social Studio is, and I, th I thought it might be better if I showed it to you a little bit um, so you can kind of get a better feel for what it is. Because you know, I, mean, I can only describe it you know, so well in text. So anyway, um, you sent us some content. Um, and that's, you know, typically the way people send things to us. And, you know, I'm actually trying to, we're trying to move away from this a little bit because typically what would have to happen is we would have to download this. I've already downloaded it, so I'm not going to download it again, but we'd have to download this Word document. And in this case, there was an image inside of the Word document. See if I still have that open. Yeah. And then I would click this, go to the original source image, download that. And then, um, you know, I come over here to our calendar. And then I would uh, create a tweet inside the calendar, um, copy, uh, switch back to the document, copy the text, go over here, paste it, and then um, go and upload the photo and then schedule it. But what I was trying to explain is that it would be a lot easier um, if you guys were to be able to create the content directly here in Salesforce. Um, so it, it's very simple it's no harder than creating a tweet, you know? Um, so, I mean, since we're doing Twitter content, another benefit would be that um, if you were to create it inside of uh, uh, Salesforce, it wouldn't only be the digital media engagement team that would have access to it. So if you wanted it to go out on the National Cemetery Administration's page, they could they could share it. You could uh, share it, maybe Secretary Wilkie's <laughs> account might share it, or VHA could share it, or Vet Centers. Um, Pretty much anybody in here already could would be able to go ahead and share that content. Um, so you you could create it once, and then everybody could just use it. And I'll show you how long it takes for us to use it. Um, so basically, let's say I wanted to create your your tweet. I want to schedule it for Tuesday at 8:30. I just click on the calendar here, go to tweet, and um, then I come over here. This is just a sample account, so it's not actually going to go out anywhere here. Um, and I paste your your content here. I think, I think this was supposed to be homelessness. Um, and then I would just upload the image, or you would just upload the image. Social workers, open. And yep, so that, that thing's ready to go. Um, you can add some labels. So this is uh, for, you know, a campaign and veteran homelessness and veteran homelessness okay enter oh wait and new so that's new and maybe elevate social work elevate social work this is all in the back end um oh actually we don't need to do this one because we have social work month all right, social work month. All right, so those are two new labels. And so this is for tracking. Um, so if we wanna find out how well our content is, is doing, um, content pertaining to these two labels, then we could just go track based on those two tags. The end, uh, end user, like veterans, aren't gonna see those anywhere in the, in the tweet. But anyway, so now you have you know, your date and time, that's all set, and I'm gonna save it as a draft because I don't actually wanna tweet it. Um, but even as a draft, you can, once you have it as a draft, you can share it to everybody else. So let's say you created it here and you wanted to share it to Main VA's Twitter account. You click on this and you go here to share content. Click it and you say, I want to share it with, oh, DME. Or you could just say, hey, I want to share it with everybody. So, because I want everybody to have access to my content. So I click apply and um, click uh, support social hashtag social work month. Okay, whatever. It's it's a comment. Um, and then I would click save. And then I'll show you from my perspective. Um, notice this isn't actually going out. This is a draft still. So from the perspective of somebody from DME, this is the content sharing page. If I gave you access, you could just post stuff in here. 
um, and it's not going to go out on any account. But from any other account that you shared it to, and I'm going to log into one right now, if I go to the uh, DME channel and I hop over here into um, shared content, I will find your tweet. It's right here. So for Social Work Month, we are celebrating our Social Work Department's 93 years of, of excellence. Um, and, I mean, it's your content. You know what's in it. So all I have to do is click one button, use this content. Where do I want it? Tweet. So that's two clicks. Where do I want it to go to? Veterans Affairs. And when do I want it to go? Tomorrow morning at 8.30. I'm thinking, oop, I missed it. There we go. So tomorrow morning at 8.30. Schedule and go. Oop, that was today. Psh, silly. All right, go. And we're done. That is now on my calendar for 8.30. Now it looks like uh, it might step on, uh, on another piece of content. So I think I'm going to bump it over to 9. Somewhere around 9 o'clock. And I can uh, actually go in here and modify that a little bit. So I just want to make sure I like it to be it, like right on the right on the number. But you get the idea. Um, if it's in shared content, I can easily grab it um, with the, just a click of a of like four buttons. Um, I can get it on the main VA calendar for you. And so it takes you know it takes a lot of work off of our end of things, but it also helps um, you know. It would help you be able to go and get your content elsewhere. So, for instance, if you wanted the National Cemetery Administration to have access to your content, well, I'm logged into NCA right now. I go into shared content, and guess what's here? Your content. It's right here. They can just easily grab it and use it. Every everybody that's uh, currently connected, um, every workspace, like all these different workspaces, all of these people can take and use your content. Um, so you could get the most, uh, the broadest um, um, view of that content possible, um, the broadest audience, I mean. So anyway, that's what I was trying to show you. Um, basically, if, if you were to share it within Social Studio, instead of sending it as a Word document and a picture, um, we can more easily utilize your content. So that's it. Thanks for watching.